All my teeth look chipped. But they've always kind of looked like that. Maybe that's just their shape. Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to talk about mammalons and what this tooth shape says about you. Okay, so my teeth aren't chipped. They're just mammalons? What are mammalons? So mammalons are tiny, bumpy tooth ridges on the cutting edge of the front teeth. You'll oftentimes see them on the adult teeth right after they erupt in a child's mouth. They are simply just ridges on the tooth, developmental characteristics, little scalloped edges, and they exist to help the front teeth cut through the gum tissues during eruption. Do all kids have them? About 90% of kids have mammalons when their front teeth first erupt, four teeth on the top and four teeth on the bottom. You won't see them on the baby teeth though, only on the child's new adult teeth. Got it, but I'm not a kid. Were mine supposed to go away? So mammalons on teeth will usually wear down on their own over time. Daily eating, biting, and chewing will gradually cause those thin little tooth ridges to flatten out within months of the tooth erupting. It's as if once those tooth ridges serve their purpose, cutting through the gum tissues to erupt, then they start to go away. But sometimes it may take years before the mammalons are completely gone. Some reasons the mammalons, the tooth ridges, some reasons they might last longer are if your teeth don't touch one another whenever you're biting down all the way like with open bites, if you have crowded teeth or rotated teeth, if you have an underbite, again, your front teeth are not touching, or sometimes even if you grind your teeth. Okay, so I don't have any of that stuff. I don't grind my teeth. I don't have an open bite. I think my teeth touch fine. Is there something wrong with me? Should I ask my dentist to remove them? No, 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 nothing is wrong with you. Sometimes mammalons just don't go away on their own. And if you want, you can ask your dentist to remove them for you, but many dentists recommend that you just keep them. They don't remove them because it can't hurt to have more enamel than less enamel, right? I mean, if you're an adult with mammalons, it's really just a cosmetic concern, so it's up to you and your dentist to decide together if you want to have them removed. But for kids, it's definitely not recommended to remove them since they serve a functional purpose and it's important to let them run their course on their own course. All right then, what's the process of having them removed as an adult? Are there any negatives? So anytime you recontour or reduce the thickness of your tooth enamel, you're essentially wearing away healthy, functional tooth structure. It's like fast forwarding your tooth to a state that's several years older than it is in the current moment. So you'll need to consider that the tooth will normally wear down over time itself. So I wouldn't be too quick to want to remove it because you don't want your teeth to look too short or flat decades down the road. However, if you're really not feeling the look of your mammalons as an adult, removing those ridges on the teeth is a super fast and pain-free process. Your dentist can quickly buff out the ridges to leave your tooth looking more contoured and more symmetrical. The only thing is that it is permanent. Once you decide to do this, the enamel won't grow back. Quick dental interruption. If you really like teeth and want to learn even more about teeth, I recently just started sending out a weekly toothy newsletter and there's a link in the description box below. All you have to do is enter your email to receive toothy tips such as whitening hacks, how to afford the dentist, and all that good toothy stuff. Hope to see you there. Now back to the video. This was so helpful. Thank you. Where, where can I get more information? If you want more information about childhood eruption ages and when to expect certain teeth to fall out and erupt, I will link my eruption chart in the description box below, as well as my Mammalons article on my website, teethtalkgirl.com. And if you have any individual questions, always, always, always ask your individual dental provider about your individual mouth. And I hope this video helped you. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications if it did. And if you want more Teeth Talk, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com, and hang out with me on Instagram, at teeth talk girl. Peace, love, and teeth.